Hello students, in the last video we had discussed about addition and subtraction of like terms and unlike terms. Today in this video we will discuss on addition of polynomials and subtraction of polynomials. Here the polynomials are the algebraic expression used over here. So let's go for addition of polynomials. There are two ways to add polynomials. One is row method, another is column method. So here in the first case that is addition by row method you have to follow three steps. Write the given polynomials in a row. Group the like terms that is you have to segregate the like terms by writing them in a bracket. Now you have to add the like term. So you know how to add the like term. Okay, yeah, you have learned it in the previous video. Let us go for an example. See here in the question it is said that add a square minus a b plus b c and minus 3 b c plus 3 a square plus a b. So for the first step we will write them in a row that is a square minus a b plus b c plus okay minus 3 b c plus 3 a square plus a b. Now the next step is we have to segregate the like terms. So here a square and here 3 a square okay let us write them in a bracket. So a square in between there is plus plus 3 a square now plus okay here is minus a b and here is only a b so write down then put plus and start a new bracket minus a b and here is plus a b okay and in between there is plus 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 now here is b c so then give another uh, positive sign start a new bracket write the next term that is bc and here is which, which is like term for bc here over here it is minus 3 bc so plus the plus n over here then minus 3 bc and put another bracket okay so a square and 3 a square so a square and 3 a square means here is nothing means there is 1 1 plus 3 is 4 a square plus in the bracket minus a b plus a b they will cancel each other it is 0 plus so it is b c plus minus though that is minus so minus 3 b c okay now 4 a square it is 0 so if you add 4 a square with 0 it is 4 a square only plus b c minus 3 b c so this is 1 so that means you are writing 1 minus 3 bc this one so 4 a square plus 1 minus 3 is what obviously minus 2 bc that is 4 a square so minus 2 bc so this is the result now i have written down written down this result over here so, and i will solve the same problem using column method. Now for the addition by column method we have to follow a rule that is we have to arrange the given polynomials so that the like terms of the polynomials are one below other in a vertical column. See here this is the first expression. Now in the second expression so here is a square so we will take 3a square just below a square then here is minus ab that means we will take this ab that is plus ab and this is bc so minus 3bc we will write here minus 3bc and then we will start adding okay here here is nothing means it is 1 so 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 a square plus here is minus 1 here is plus 1 
a b we will take just the coefficient here minus 1 is the coefficient here plus 1 is the coefficient now here what is the coefficient this this is 1 so plus in the bracket we will add 1 and here is minus 3 is the coefficient so minus 3 dc so that equals to 4 a square so the plus 1 minus 1 will cancel each other that means 0 into a b ok plus this is minus 2 b c this is 4 a square 0 into a b is 0 so we will write nothing for that and here minus 2 so this is not plus this is minus 2 b c now see 4 a square minus 2 b c and this was the result 4 a square minus 2 b c and by the by both the methods we have got the same result for the subtraction in polynomials there are two methods one is row method and another is column method for the subtraction of row method we have to follow two, two steps that is enclose the expression to be subtracted in brackets with the minus sign prefixed and the next step is remove the bracket by changing the sign of each term kept in the bracket let's go for the solution here we have to subtract this from this so let us write this in the front so 12x plus 7y minus 21z now we have to put a minus sign here and we will write this term over here so 4x minus 6y plus 3z okay. this equals to so 12x as it was plus 7y minus 21z now we have to remove the bracket and after that we have to change the sign of each term that is it is 4x so it will be minus 4x it is 6 minus 6y it will be plus 6y it is plus 3z it will be minus 3z okay now let us look for the like terms here 12x and here minus 4x so 12x minus 4x so okay now plus here 7y and here plus 6y okay now plus the same process so minus 21z and minus 3z minus 21z minus 3z so this equals to 12x minus 4x so 12 minus 4x plus 7y and 6y 7 plus 6y minus 21 minus 3 so minus 21 minus 3z so this is 12 minus 4 is 8x plus 7 plus 6 is 13y and minus 21 and minus 3 both are negative so they both uh, both the terms will be uh, add, both the numbers will be added and in front there will be a negative sign so it will minus 24z so let us write down this result over here 8x plus 13y minus 24z so we will solve this problem by using column method now for the subtraction by column method there are three steps first is rewrite the given expressions in a two lines such that the lower line is the expression to be subtracted and the like terms of both the expressions are one below other as we uh, as we have done for the addition now we have to change the sign of each term in the lower line next we will add column wise solution so let us write down the first uh, this expression okay so as we are subtracting this from this so we will write it first 12x plus 7y minus 21z next we will write down this expression because it has to be subtracted now 4x minus 6y plus 
3z. See here, I have written 4x just below 12x, 6y just below 7y and 3z just below 21z as they are like terms. Okay. This is step 1. Now, step 2 is change the sign. So, it is positive here. So, nothing, there is nothing, there is, it is positive. So, we have to change it. So, it will be negative. Now, it is negative, it will be positive. It is positive, it will be negative. Next, just forget about this sign. So, these are the sign for them. Okay, these are the sign for them. Now, 12x minus 4x. So, we will write 12x minus 4x, put it in bracket, plus 7y plus 6y, then minus 21z minus 3z. Or you could have done it 12 minus 4x directly 7 plus 6y directly or minus 21 minus 3z. Now this equals to 12x minus 4x is 12 minus 4, 8x plus 7y plus 6y is 13y and minus 21 minus 3 is minus 24z. Now see this is the result that we have got in the previous problem. So students it is your choice what method you will use if not mentioned. In the next video we shall solve some problems related to this topic. Thanks for watching.